Hello, welcome to the Daily Nature Journal. I'm just preparing some paper for today's pages. I'm using some fuchsia in my Derwent Inktense pans. Fuchsia is a really, really bright magenta. And I'm just watering it out a little bit to take some of that bright pink away. You're going to see how I'm going to use these spare sheets here in a minute. I'm now going to put this aside and let it dry. In today's video I'm going to be working on the last remaining spread for April. In this one I'm going to be working on another picture from my recent trip to Pembrokeshire and that's of walking along the coast path with all of the thrift in flower and the beautiful volcanic rocks pointing out into the horizon. If you're on my Patreon, you will have seen this part of the walks on the extended content video for the Skoma Island trip. This is the sort of scene that I'm going to create. And now you might have an idea what I'm going to use that pink paper for. So let's get started. Just starting out with a ruler, because I want to make sure that I've got a straight horizon. But it's quite difficult to measure it when you've got paper with deckled edges. So I'm just doing my best. Now just putting on a little bit of line work to show where the cliffs are going to be and where I want the edge of the cliff to be. Now I'm going in with a little bit of blue, adding that to the sky and to the sea. And I'm using Derwent Ink Tents for the majority of this picture. A little bit of darker blue, so it's an ultramarine mixed with a Payne's grey. And I'm really using the background, so letting these yellowy shades from the background show through. I'm using Payne's Grey with a little bit of black for the rocks here and putting the darker shades over the top and all of these lovely little islands just marking those out as well. Now I'm going on to my botanical ink I'm using Nettle Ink which is a lovely olive -y kind of colour and then putting in a little bit of a darker green as well. And now back to that fuchsia ink, just marking out where roughly I want the thrift to be. Now comes the fun part and I'm taking this paper that I prepared earlier and I'm just tearing it and using it to collage the areas of the brightest, closest sea thrift. Now it's just really a bit of playing around, see what I can do compositionally to make this look good. Adding my pressed thrift as well, and now playing around with a bit of fumatory and sea campion, although I decided to leave those off in the end. Now it's time to get everything stuck down, so I'm using EVA glue, just putting it on the back of the collage and just sticking it straight down. Now I'm doing much the same for my pressed thrift painting the EVA glue onto the back and then putting a layer over the top as well. Little description and I think I'm quite happy with this page. A few final touches and there we are. Right, I hope you enjoyed watching me create this page with pressed flowers, collage, botanical inks and Derwent ink tents. Let me know what you think of the techniques that I've used in this video and hopefully it will inspire you to try something similar in your own journal. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next time.